Hi, my name is Mike Scott, Industrial Product Manager with the Modal Shop. High sensitivity MEMS-based accelerometers, piezo-resistive or variable capacitance, are meant for applications where engineers need to test low G levels but have a high voltage output. Think uh, suspension testing in automotive, drivability, or in a civil application, uh, bridge monitoring or bridge vibration testing, low frequency events. These sensors are calibrated by the original equipment manufacturer for frequency response, and the high sensitivity versions are typically calibrated in the low end of the frequency response range, either 0.5 hertz to 100 hertz or 1 hertz to 500 hertz, depending upon the manufacturer. They go through a NIST traceable A2LA accredited calibration process. With our portable vibration calibrator uh, model 9210D, which is our low frequency portable vibration calibrator, we can duplicate the OEM's calibration process for these transducers. So in this video, I'd like to show you a simple low frequency frequency response test for a DC MEMS based accelerometer. Let's begin. We're going to calibrate this PCB Piezotronics 1000 millivolt per G DC MEMS accelerometer at six points beginning at 100 hertz and ending at one hertz. Um, you can see here that the sensitivity of the sensor under test is 996 millivolts per G at one G peak at 100 hertz. My actual vibration amplitude is the bigger amplitude number that you see on the screen. And that's measured from the reference accelerometer inside the shaker. And the target vibration amplitude is the smaller number that you see on the screen, which uh, represents my pre-programmed test point that I loaded uh, using Microsoft Excel. No additional software is required. You can see my frequency is 100 hertz. To save this test point, I just press the file button and the software tells me that my first test point passes because it's within plus or minus 5% of the nominal sensitivity and that's the manufacturer's specification for this transducer. Here at 50 hertz, I am once again going to pass calibration down to 10 hertz now at 1G peak, which is a significant amount of displacement. And we want to wait for the actual vibration amplitude to settle in and match the target. And once it does, we can press the file button to save that point. Moving on to uh, 5 hertz, we, want, we are going to change the amplitude to 0.5 G's peak, and once our actual vibration matches the target, we can save the point. At 3 hertz, our ampl maximum amplitude is 0.15 G's peak. We'll wait for our actual amplitude, as measured by the reference accelerometer, to match the target. And once it does, we can take data. And again, we pass. And at our last calibration point, um, at one hertz, this is a really challenging calibration point for a portable system. Um, the vibration that we're targeting is 0 0.02 G's peak. So we'll wait for our actual vibration amplitude to drift down to 0 0.02, and then we'll take data. Although you can see that the, uh, the measurement is pretty good um, at 1,001 millivolts per G or exactly 1,000 millivolts per G. And we'll take data there, and that completes our calibration. All of our test points pass. Data is now saved to the memory of the calibrator, and we can create our calibration certificate in Microsoft Excel. This is the calibration certificate that was made by the 9210 using the Microsoft Excel macro-enabled calibration workbook. No other software is required besides Microsoft Excel. Sensitivity at 100 hertz for this PCB piezotronics transducer was 996 millivolts per G. Our deviation plot shows that at no point was our deviation greater than 1%, and the data table at left also confirms that value. You can see that uh, the calibration is NIST traceable, and it was done per the ISO 16063 Part 21 procedure. Calibration was in tolerance, as found and as left, and the date and time show at the bottom right of the calibration certificate. The Model 9210D Low Frequency Portable Vibration Calibrator is a convenient tool. It can be brought to the test site for full system testing, sensor, cable, and data acquisition, 
to make sure that your measurement is going to be conducted correctly at critical frequencies of interest. But the 9210D is not the best calibration system for low frequency calibrations. Modal Shop's model 9155D laboratory grade calibration workstation supports extended displacement shakers that are the best and most accurate way to calibrate these low frequency, high sensitivity DC MEMS style accelerometers. The 9155D is fully automated, has databasing software, zaps through a calibration very quickly, and is precise and accurate and offers very low uncertainty. You saw in the video that I calibrated this uh, PCB piezotronics transducer from 1 hertz to 100 hertz, but actually PCB piezotronics calibrates their DC MEMS high sensitivity transducers from 0.5 hertz to 100 hertz. So while 1 to 100 hertz uh, may be good enough in some applications to fully replicate the calibration by PCB piezotronics, I would need to go down to 0.5 hertz, which of course the modal shop long stroke shaker supports. You can also get greater amplitudes, greater displacement levels, and greater acceleration levels with that system. Thanks again for watching. For more information, please consult our website for additional videos.